Hi, I'm Ini Dimaokoje and I play Ramat on Blossom. Honestly, I called Tola and I just wanted to talk about my character for hours. This is different. I love that like women were portrayed in a different light because a lot of shows here is all about women who kind of like wanting to get married or being 30 and not married or that, you know what I mean? But this just showed women in such a different and real way and I really love that. But I'm also very, they used to call me a few concepts. I get into it. I had so many line changes to it. I, I, Stola was like, in your calm down, calm down with you. I'm writing some things. So I just had a lot of notes, but I loved the direction of the entire show. Whew. An exciting, crazy hell of a ride. Working with the other ladies, I couldn't wait for it because I'm really close to Sharon. I love Bisola and I hadn't met Enado properly before we had seen at events so for her I'm like okay we'll fill her out and see what that's like but then I was ready to be like on it like with Shara we we're just bantering already and I'm like I can't wait to experience this because like, she's such a big personality so it was really good we really bounced off each other very well and trust me shooting was like long days and long nights and it was just exciting to be with people that you really enjoy their company and everything felt natural and I think we all made each other better if that made sense like off screen and on I think it's important. It's something that as women, we really, really need to lean into because it's such a man's world. Like men, whether anyone likes it or not, they've just always had the upper hand. Different societies have always favored men. And women, like we, like it's really important to be there for each other. Now, I know there's this notion where people say, oh, women don't really support women. But I, I don't think it's true. I feel like most of the opportunities have been given were by women. I have such a strong mom. I've seen how she has uplifted other women. And I think that if we lean into like our strengths more, there's nothing we can do. Um, so I love it. I think it's something to champion. I think it's something to put forward. I think it's something to teach like our girls growing up. Um, yeah, I'm a girl's girl, and I, I think it's important that we have each other's backs and we show these men. Uh. For me, there was something about Rama's essence, and you really see that play out. She was not who she looked like, and that was my favorite thing about her. And you literally see those moments show in such big ways all the time. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I would just say she she was more than she seemed like. And you see that play out throughout the season. So watch out. My character is very different from who I am in real life. However, the one similarity is just how passionate we are. Ramat was very passionate. And he often landed her in a bit of trouble. And that's how I am. Like when I'm passionate about something, when there's something I stand for, I don't back down, like no matter what it is. So I was really able to, to draw like, you know, that similarity and that strength. In, in, like I could use that in finding her strength and finding like why she would go so hard on an issue when everyone would just be like, like, you know what, well, just chill. But I understand what it is to be passionate about what you love. And yeah, if, if I was gonna link our characters, that's the one thing. I think it's just what she stood for. In terms of even her look, she looked very different and she stood for something, like in terms of, she was just very different from what you expected. And I love that about her. And that, and that is like, that's what stuck out to me. And I don't know that I've ever played something, someone that seemed so different, but then when you watch you know their personality and their art play out it was like just what you never expected so she has that surprise factor which is like different from every other thing i've played before one thing that was very memorable was i love shows that have to do with women i've done one like one before but this was different because it was about women where it was also very deep so i had to really really dig deep and it's funny because when I got the script for some, I'm like, oh, it's just going to be fluff. But no, it was about friends, but it was very, very deep. And, you know, there were many moments where I had to be vulnerable. I didn't expect the show to be one that I'm like, OK, how do I get out of this character? How, you know, so there were lots of moments like that. And for me, I, I like that stuff. I like things to challenge me. So it challenged me a lot. And, and I love that. I literally live for that. I don't know. I don't know if Rama will be my friend. I like it for a little more light. <laughs> like. <laughs> 
Why are you everything more lightweight? And, but she's, she's someone I would admire, but I don't know if we'll be tight, if I'm being honest. <laughs> hmm, superhero. I want to be able to like be a telepath, read minds and will people to do what I want. But if I was going to play a role, I want something a bit more physical, a bit more die, fire, boo, explosion, you know what I mean? Like that would be exciting to explore. But personally, I know what I want to do with my telepathy. I also want to play like, like a psychotic person because personally, I'm really obs like obsessed with people that are a bit of sociopaths because I think it's such a crazy thing to be. So imagine mixing a superhero that is a sociopath. Jesus Christ, I'll be a villain. I love villains. <laughs> the difference is just how deep the issues we delve into and just how deep and real the show is. Like, it's very real. It's not fluff at all, at all. Um, and it's, it's beautiful, it's real. And, and it's just, I think people will be able to relate to it. People will be able to draw strength from it. And people will learn from it and they'll be entertained from it. Like, that's like, stars being aligned for like a beautiful show. Yes, I have actually. So it's so funny. There's something that I knew I had, but I didn't know that it was any, I, I didn't realize that it was anything different from anyone. So when I analyze scripts, I'm really great at seeing holes. I'm really great at like, just seeing what makes sense in a story. Like it comes so easy to me. I'm great at making a scene better. So when I would give my notes as an actor to like, maybe the producer or director, they're like, oh my God, you should be like, have you ever thought of doing your own thing? And I'm like, oh, no, everyone doesn't do this. So more and more, I began to develop this. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to actually do something behind camera and, and you know, put my, put my money where my mouth is. So I've really been thinking of, I'm actually currently developing something still at the early, early stages. So yeah, more and more, that's becoming real. And my husband really nods me. He's like, dude, like you're so good at this, do it. So yeah, in the future, I just might be working with Show Max. Ha ha ha. Take this as my pitch. Oh my gosh, so many. First of all, obviously, House of the Dragon, because I'm on Earth, and that's like the best show right now. And I really love Real Housewives of Lagos, even with Pato coming out. I'm a sucker for reality shows, I, I have no shame. 